As young witches and wizards, we all dream about soaring through the sky like our favorite heroes. When it comes to Quidditch, we've all wondered, do I have what it takes to be the next Quidditch star? To beat my toughest opponents? To keep my composure when it matters most? To chase my dreams at any price? To seek glory for my team? Because someday, that dream could become a reality. And the road won't always be easy. But if you just keep getting back on your broom, and trust in your teammates, Quidditch is magic. yourself again. Do you have what it takes? Do you have the heart of a Quidditch champion? Every Quidditch champion's journey has to start somewhere. And for many, that's in our own backyard. In our minds, the garden is a grand Quidditch pitch, and wind blowing in the trees is a roaring crowd. Can you picture yourself playing among your heroes? Welcome to our backyard Quidditch pitch. Before you take flight, let's make sure you're comfortable on your broom. Rest comfortably in the saddle and double check your grip position. When you think up, the broom should do exactly what you want. If flying doesn't feel natural, try some adjustments. There are a lot of threats on the Quidditch field. Mastering your evasive flying will keep you out of harm's way. You can really push your broom for an extra boost of speed, but it won't last forever. You'll eventually need to ease off and recover. I think you're ready for something a little more advanced. Drifting will let you fly in one direction while looking in another. I use it all the time when lining up a shot on the goals. Not bad. Looks like you're getting the hang of it. Definitely better than Neville's first time on a broom from what I heard. Here's a quick challenge to really see what you can do. 
There's no rush to move on until you're comfortable. How are you feeling on that broom? Brilliant. Then let's brush up on Quidditch, shall we? It's really not all that complicated once you know all the positions. Each team has three chasers. They're the heart of the Quidditch team, if I do say so myself. That ball is called the Quaffle, and a chaser's job is to, well, chase it. When the other team has the Quaffle, our chasers need to get it back at all costs and bring it towards the opponent's goal. And working as one, throwing the quaffle through any opposing goal scores our team points and brings us that much closer to victory. Quidditch is fast-paced and you'll often need to change your approach quickly. Sometimes a change in perspective is all you need. As a chaser, your main concern is the quaffle. Have a look for it now. Quidditch is first and foremost a team game. When you find yourself in an advantageous position, let your team know by calling for a pass. Now that you've got the quaffle, don't forget about the rest of your team. Individual talent will only get you so far. The truly great chasers know they need to pass to their teammates. Chaser, your main focus is to score points for your team. The more you score, the closer you get to winning. Get to always be on the hunt for the quaffle. If an opposing chaser has possession, that can easily be resolved with a swift tackle. Impressive work so far. You've proven you can score on an empty goal, but they won't always be undefended. That about does it for the chasers. Are you feeling ready for a warm-up match? I was hoping you would say that. Let's go chasers only for this first match. This is the Weasley Twins, your favorite pranksters and Quidditch players. Let's hope this match turns out better than the last time we played Quidditch. Speak for yourself, I had a great time. But then again, I am the better athlete. The Quaffle's up! The shot. This chase makes scoring goals look easy. Quaffle soars towards the chase and scores a goal. That's the end of the match. Perfect timing, too. I think the gnomes are back again. Remember, you can relive all the action in tomorrow's Daily Profit. You're an animal.
natural. I honestly didn't think we'd win the very first match, but it was well earned. Shall we challenge them to a rematch? Or are you ready to learn more about Quidditch? All right, the lesson continues. The Keeper adds a lot of depth to the game. So let's add one now. Oh, and I think my brother Ron will be the best person to fly you through this role. Have fun! <laughs> Quidditch would be rubbish without the keeper guarding the goals. A good defence can make all the difference in a match. Your team's keeper has one very important job. Stop that quaffle from going through any of your goals. Being a good keeper requires the tactical mind to predict where the quaffle will be shot and the agility to stop it. With their vantage point, a keen keeper inspire and guide their chases as well. It may sound like a lot of responsibility, but nothing beats the feeling of single-handedly saving a goal. Chasers can play a decent defense, but to properly guard the goals requires a keeper. Keepers have their own way of moving. More like a hummingbird than a hippogriff. Give it a try. Diving is an important skill for a keeper to learn. It lets you move quickly and accurately between the goal rings. As a keeper, it's important to know where the quaffle is at all times. Don't forget to keep focus on it when you need to. The keeper's job is simple in theory. Stop the other team from scoring goals. It's trickier in practice. Chasers will try and trick you, so keep a close eye on them and be ready to move. Your team depends on you thinking on your feet. Um, broomstick in this case. off back there. You've still got a team to help. From here, you've got the best view of the happenings on the field. Show us your leadership skills and give your team some guidance. Now let's take a look at your play calling from the chaser's point of view. Flying through auras will give you a speed and energy boost. The keeper's kick is an indispensable tool. You can use it to deflect quaffles and bludgers, or you can even give other players a good whack to drive them away. Let's give it a go. Try and save this next shot on goal by deflecting it with a big kick. That's about all you need to know as a keeper. Are you ready to play a match with proper defence? Brilliant. With the keepers added to the game, things are about to get a lot more interesting. This is the Weasley Twins. Excited. We're back for another exhilarating game of Quidditch. I can hardly sit still. The Quaffle's up! There's the shot! What a save! Nothing's, Nothing's getting past, past that, that keeper. keeper. That's a pass to a teammate. Always good to see a team passing the Quaffle around. The chaser lines up the shot and... The quaffle is passed. There goes the shot! This keeper is on fire! 
The chase surpasses. There's a pass. There goes the chaser scores. Visitors steal possession. Waffle source towards the goal. The Weasley team saves it. Yes, keep moving it downfield. That's a pass to a teammate. The chaser lines up the shot and... Nice save. There goes the snitch. Can the chase... What the a shot. shot. The passes. This waffle is passed. Great pass. And, and it's in. Either that's the final whistle, or Mom's found the flubber worm in the toilet. What a match! Match. Offense and defense are both crucial on the Quidditch pitch. Now, shall we move to the next lesson? Or are you itching for a rematch? Brilliant. Let's move on to the roles that make Quidditch truly unique, starting with the beater. Better find someone fearless for the job. I know Fred has been giddy to go over this bit. Or was that George? Ah, beaters. You either love them or hate them, depending on which side of the bludger you're on. What are bludgers? They're iron balls that are fast, aggressive, and enchanted to knock players off their brooms. A beater's job is to use a bat to drive those nasty buggers away from your team or theirs. What could be better than seeing your opponent set up a perfect play and totally ruining their plans? Chaser isn't equipped to deal with bludgers. For that, you'll need to beat bludgers and nasty little buggers, and can cause a lot of trouble if you're not careful. A lot of new beaters start off their career with an injury, so let's take it easy to start with. Drifting isn't just a chaser trick. Beaters, beaters can, can do, do the same, same. often to devastating effect. Quidditch is an incredibly physical game. Every hit will knock you off balance. Take too many hits, and you'll be tumbling off your broom. When all else fails,
fails, you can just pretend you are the bludger and tackle your opponent. That usually does the trick. Let's put all this practice into play. Hit that player with a well-placed bludger. Don't worry about them. They volunteered for this. Well, they were not told to do this, but I'm sure they'll be fine. Broom. Same as last time. Send a bludger their way while they're still off balance. Maybe we should worry about Paddy. Just a little bit at least. Spectacular! Fred and George would be proud. Now take what you've learned and master it. Knock everyone on the field off their broom. Now that you understand what a beta does, are you ready to see them in action? Then let's play a match with bludgers and beaters in the mix. Watch, Watch your head, head out there. there. We were supposed to do chores today instead of going off to play Quidditch, but no one said anything about bringing the Quidditch to us. The Quaffle's up! Towards the chaser scores a goal. Always good to see a team passing the quaffle around. But that's an intercept. There's the shot, and the quaffle is in. Always pass. There goes the shot. Goal! This match, like Mom's dream of us working in the ministry, is over. Now that's done. Let's see if we can get a word from our witness. Nothing like dodging blood just to get your adrenaline going. How did you fare? No broken bones or brooms, right? Should we play another match before we bring the snitch in? Then that means we're ready to learn the last piece of the Quidditch puzzle. The Seekers and the Golden Snitch. I'm not a bad seeker myself, but I wasn't the youngest seeker in a century. So, I'll let Harry handle this one.
everybody knows the Seeker. Their job is to find and catch the elusive Golden Snitch to score big for their team. Easier said than done, as it's the size of a walnut. I suppose they don't call it seeking for nothing. But aside from sharp eyes, better have sharp reflexes too. Because once you find the snitch, you'll also need to chase it and grab it before the opposing seeker does. If you can stay close to the snitch, anticipate its movements, and dodge a bludger or two, you can actually hold victory in your hands. Seekers are entirely focused on the Golden Snitch, an elusive golden ball. It's tricky to find and even harder to catch, but gives your team a load of points. When the Snitch has been detected, it's time for the Seeker to step up. Usually, you'd need to find the Snitch first, but for now, we'll just focus on the fundamentals. You'll get a chance to play hide and seek with it later. The snitch is famously hard to keep an eye on. Stay focused to avoid losing track of it. Keeping up with the snitch can be difficult, but using those gold rings will let you fly faster for longer. Seekers need to be quick and agile, making tight turns at a moment's notice. Drifting is an excellent way to make those tight turns. This time, you'll need to find the snitch yourself, and quickly too. You won't be the only one looking for it when we're actually playing. Keep your eyes open for a glint of gold, and listen out for the flitter of its wings. Close to the snitch and keep it in your sights. Grab it when you're ready. And with that, you know everything you need to know to play Quidditch properly. Are you ready for your first real match? Okay, this one is for all the gobstones. We'll be playing with full teams now. So let's not hold back. This is the Weasley Twins, your favorite pranksters. And we'll get ready for another thrilling game of Quidditch. The Quaffle's up. through the goal. There's the pass. Roger knocks the quaffle out of the player's hand. There goes the shot. This chase makes scoring goals look easy. Chase the 
fumbles. Always good to see a team passing the corporal around. Here's the shot. Nice save. That's a pass to a teammate. What a great pass. No one's hogging the quaffle on this team. The quaffle is passed. Towards the goal. The keeper blocks the goal without breaking a sweat. Revealed. The chaser lines. This chaser is unstoppable. Talk about a crash course in Quidditch. The visitors steal possession. The shot. Nothing's getting past these goalposts. Almost there, seeker. Keep, Keep it, it up. Quaffle soars towards the goal. The keeper stops the quaffle. The home team steals possession. There goes the shot. That snitch is on its last legs. Uh, wings. The, the match has reached the halfway mark. The, the quaffle is loose. The quaffle was stolen. That chase is not playing around. Chaser is not afraid of close contact. Somebody had better score, or we'll fall asleep in the stands. The Weasley! The Seekers captured the snitch and our attention. Mark. The keeper's ball has left the post wide open. If you were waiting for an open invitation to score, there goes the shot. The visit. It barely misses the hoop. He stole the quaffle. The chaser passes. is on fire! Always good to see a team passing the quaffle around. There goes the stitch! There's the shot! And it's a chase of passes! But who'll be the first to catch it? There's a pass. Yes, keep moving it downfield. There goes the shot. The keeper stops the quaffle. She stole the quaffle. The seeker is catching up to the snitch. Chaser lines up the shot and... What a save! Nothing's getting past that keeper.
What a great pass. Just one minute left to... The snitch is within reach. Don't lose focus now. Whoa! Watch out for that beta! There goes the shot! The keeper blocks the goal without breaking a sweat. The snitch has been caught! Yeah, the salamander we lost in the house, on the other hand! 30 seconds! But it's not over until it's over! The portal soars through the coast! Everyone, the show's over. This has been your dynamic duo of commentators saying that you don't have to go home, but, but you, you can't, can't stay here. here. Now that was Quidditch. The speed, the teamwork, the danger. It's all so thrilling. A resounding victory. I don't think any of them saw that coming. You've really earned our illustrious Garden Cup. We found some spare brooms lying around if you wanted them. Gave them a quick dusting and everything. They may not look like much right now. But given some time, I'm sure you'll be able to unlock their true potential. Hogwarts, there are few greater ways to bring honor to your house 
than playing on the Quidditch team. Against the likes of Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw and Slytherin. Could you win the Hogwarts House Quidditch Cup? Hope you Gryffindors have been practicing this summer, because I'm not letting you squeak out a win this season. This is Lee Jordan, your favorite Quidditch commentator. Today, Gryffindor and Slytherin face off in a battle of courage versus cunning. What tricks, sorry, tactics do Slytherin have up their sleeve? Madam Hooch releases the quaffle, and the game begins!
Slytherin takes the shot! The Keeper stops the quaffle! What a great pass! The quaffle is locked loose! There's a quaffle pass. Slytherin still possession! Just one minute left! Slippery little bugger, but the Seeker secures the catch nonetheless! That's a fumble! Ripping your down! Gryffindor clobber Slytherin. No surprise there. This has been your host with the most, Lee Jordan, signing off after another incredible game of Quidditch. This year, it's not just about winning. It's about showing the true strength of Hufflepuff. Here's to turning the tide against Gryffindor. This is Lee Jordan, your favorite Quidditch commentator. Can Hufflepuff turn their losing record against Gryffindor around today? Or will Gryffindor draw even closer to the cup? The flutters are loose. Everyone watch your heads.
temple is passed. There goes the shark, and the quaffle is in! to the winner of today's game, me! Your charming announcer for betting on the right team and profiting quite handsomely.
Your lion's roar is impressive, Gryffindor. But today you'll see the true strength of the underdog. This is Lee Jordan, your favorite Quidditch commentator. Ravenclaw hope to turn their losing record against Gryffindor around today. To that I say, keep hoping, Ravenclaws. Players lurch into action, eager to be the first to score. Waffle pass? Somebody at 
better scorer will fall asleep in the stands. The keeper blocks the goal without breaking a sweat. What a great pass. Chaser passes. That's a fumble. Eyes to the sky, Seekers. The snitch is loose. The snitch is revealed. Ravenclaw takes the shot. What a save! Nothing's getting past that keeper. The chaser fumbles. Gryffindor takes the shot. The keeper blocks the shot. Keep it moving downfield. Can the chaser tie the game? <laughs> nice save. What a great pass. There's the shot. Ravenclaw saves it. has been caught. There goes the shot. Incredible shot. Chaser passes. Ravenclaw takes the sh and that's the goal! Despite Gryffindor's best efforts, they fall to Ravenclaw. Great game! Wipe that smirk off your face, Gryffindor. We're here to put a stop to your winning streak. This is Lee Jordan, your favorite Quidditch commentator. Gryffindor's been dominant against Slytherin this season. Can Slytherin turn it around today? Professor McGonagall's telling me I must say yes. The bludgers are loose. Everyone watch your heads. There goes the shot! Incredible shot!
forgot how bloodthirsty those bludgers can be. Watch out next time. But it misses the mark. Nice save. Eyes to the sky, Seekers. The snitch is loose. There's the snitch. But who'll be the first to catch it? that wreck you call a common room, you can survive that hit. Gryffindor steal possession! Slytherin steal possession! Gryffindor steal possession! A quabble with more to lose! The speaker is halfway to catch the slit! The chaser scores a goal! Teammate. Thirty seconds left. But the shot goes wide. 
Malfoy's caught the snitch. I mean, uh, congratulations to his team. There's the shot. Slytherin saves it. Gryffindor clobber Slytherin. No surprise there. This has been Lee Jordan with a special thanks to our Sponsor, nose biting teacups. Nose biting teacups. The prank's so nice, it bites you twice. Gryffindor, your bravery is the stuff of legends, but Hufflepuff is no less courageous, and we're ready to fight for our comeback. This is Lee Jordan, your favorite Quidditch commentator. Can Hufflepuff turn their losing record against Gryffindor around today, or will Gryffindor draw even closer to the cup? The players lurch into action, eager to be the first to score. There goes the shot! Hufflepuff saves it! That's the pass to a teammate! Hufflepuff takes the shot! The keeper stops the quaffle! Hufflepuff still possession! Gryffindor still possession! There's the shot and it soars through the goal! Peter knocks their victim right off the broom! Gryffindor takes the shot! The Quaffle is not to lose! Hufflepuff still possession! Gryffindor still possession! There goes the shot! Knock 
out by the beat up. <laughs> There's the turn, the Quaffle is in! Wait a moment, is that... Oh, it is! The Seeker's caught the snitch! We're halfway into a nail-bitingly tense match! Gryffindor takes the shot. The keeper blocks the goal without breaking a sweat. Gryffindor steal possession. There goes the shot. I don't know if we're playing too rough, Gryffindor. What a great pass! Hufflepuff takes the shot! What a save! Nothing's getting past that keeper! Puff takes the shot, but the shot goes wide. The player takes a nasty tumble. Always a pleasure to share my enthusiasm for Quidditch with everyone here. This is Lee Jordan signing off. Looks like you'll really gain the hang of Quidditch. It's the same as anything, really. 
The more you play, the better you'll get, and the more skills you learn. 